Good morning. Come on in. We just did our walk around the block and it's getting cold out there, but it still was nice and and it makes you appreciate the winter coldness when you see so much fire disasters going on. So uh, we're appreciating winter because of all the smoke and fires we had this year and because of what's happening down in California. So. We uh, love you all and hope that you all can uh, recover and, and uh, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm speechless really, it's, uh, it's a very sad situation. So anyway, come on in, we are uh, going to talk about art projects today. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you something that Jack just finished. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. And in case anybody wants to join along, there's not um, too much about this online. You can try Googling it, but uh, I have and gone through pages. And there's very little, and I don't want to scare anybody off, but some museums have huge sheets of glass that are shown uh, with little spacers between them, and they're like 16 sheets of glass with pictures on each, either the front or the back of each piece of glass as they go along, and it looks very 3D and uh, very interesting. It makes you want to kind of jump into the picture. So, <laughs> that being said, this is just a simpler version of that. And sometime this last uh, summer, last this year, we were in the thrift store and I found this little picture. And I thought, oh, I'd like to try that. And then I'm going to show it to you and show you how it's made. It was done by an artist in Hawaii and I can't read the name or I'd be Googling the name. I've tried everything I could to find out. And I thought it was so beautiful. I picked it up for a dollar and somebody didn't think it was beautiful and threw it to the thrift store. So I'm going to show you a close up. This is three sheets of glass and it's small. So you can do small or you can do big. So, um, I'll try and get in close. There's a waterfall and it hits here and another waterfall. So this is the picture that uh, gave me this idea and I'll show you inside. When you take off the first sheet of glass there's some seagulls painted on the back side of the first sheet. If you can see them. And then this is how the picture is inside. This much of the picture, let me put a piece of paper behind it. See if I can take that first sheet off. There we go. There's the first sheet right off. And the seagulls are painted on the back of the first sheet. So I'll put that down. Now, if I put a piece of paper in behind this, I'll be able to show you better how this is working. So, on the back, you see no top waterfall. This is all painted on the, f on the front of this top piece because I took the other piece off. So they've painted some trees and some birds and you see this is where and, and so this would you can see waterfall in the back that is not on this sheet just just the trees the birds the waterfall you can see there we go okay this is all painted on this sheet of the glass so I'll take that one off. Jack said, don't take it apart. But you know, to really see how it's done, I had to. And I'll put it back together. So anyway, this is the second sheet. 
and it's painted on the front of it. So if you wanted to do this, you could put any picture in behind this piece of glass, and I'll show you in a minute. So this is the second sheet of glass, and that goes down on top of the seagull one. And they have little, they have little spacers. It, they're kind of, I think they're just sticky little small square things in each corner. Now, here's the front of the back, because the back is a mirror. Now I'm not doing a mirror on mine, but the back of this one is a mirror. But he's painted all over it. So this is the back. And they do paint down a little further of the blue, but that doesn't show in the, but they do go almost to the bottom. So then that goes back on. And you have this beautiful picture. And it's very 3D looking. So, you know, I've kind of over challenged myself. I've never done this. this. This is the first time I've seen it. I Googled it. And you can do um, uh, 3D painting on three or four sheets of glass. So, now, before I scare you too bad, uh, if you took a, a picture like this, See, go through calendars, um, anything like that, books, because I'll show you, I'm going to use a picture from a calendar, but like even a simple vase, or um, so in the front, behind the first sheet of glass, if you've got three pieces, you can do most of the flowers. And then on the, on the back of the first sheet, you could do the vase, and then on the front of the next one you could do leaves so you could get a really 3d painting easily and the good thing about doing it on glass if you make a mistake it will come off very easily so now first i thought i might oh first i should show you i got um for three dollars and now these were in the thrift store, so I paid less, but these were the original prices. Three dollars, you get little picture frames with little pieces of carp, uh, cardboard and two sheets of glass. So at the thrift store one day, I picked up two of them. So I have four sheets of glass. So I think you can pick them up at most, uh, maybe dollar stores or cheaper hobby stores excuse me, hobby store. So, then, and like I said, I'm, I'm pushing myself on this, but it's going to be fun anyway. So, I have a new calendar. It's a Kincaid calendar, and I kind of thought, oh, I'll change it. I'll put some more waterfalls in the back here, like they did, because the trees will be in front, and it'll make the water look like it's in the distance. And then um, I'm going to have the people fishing. So here I'll show you what I did. We put this on our printer and printed a sheet exactly, well, almost exactly the same size as the glass. You'll see what I mean. So I have four sheets of glass. And, <laughs> and um I have to take these in so you can see sort of what I'm going to do. So on the back of the first sheet, if I can get it off here. Now, anybody that is um, just a, a, a little intrigued, it doesn't take up a lot of space in your house. All you need is a little bit of paint. In fact, I saw one artist doing this with um, a painting pens, so you can do that too. So, on the back of the first sheet, I cut that picture that we printed and I put it here. So, uh, if you're not a great drawer, uh, you can... Now, this one, I can't do the first one that way. So, what I'm going to have is I'm going to enlarge the water but I will put some people on it and I'll be painting on the back of the front. I won't be putting any birds or anything up here until I finish it. So 
the first sheet will be like that. And then, okay, and then, you know, this one keeps you out of mischief. <laughs> then you add your second piece you cut, and you can change it because uh, where these people are fishing, and I plan to do a wall to hold some of the water back, so I've so you can cut yours and it can be a simple picture. And if you wanted to do, oh, I have all these great ideas, but if you wanted to do a Christmas picture, you could have a tree on the front of the back piece of glass, and then you can have a Christmas balls. So in the back is just a, a tree, and then you can do some Christmas balls on the next one. And on on, you can do paint some Christmas balls on the back of the front one and on the front of the second one and it will probably look gorgeous. So um, then my third sheet and this is where I'll be changing a bit because where that blind space is I plan to make the waterfall come down Beside the house, waterfall coming down. You can see a sort of small one here. But I'm going to try and make it bigger. And I'm going to try and make it so that it comes back into the house a little bit with a wall of rocks because there has to be some depth there for the water to come down. And then, of course, the, the front of the back one will have trees and where the waterfall is coming Similar, similar, similar to how the waterfall came here. So I'll be changing the back a little bit. I'm making this a little hard, but it can be as simple as you want it to be, and it'll be fun. And if it doesn't turn out the first time, and I've done this with tile paintings I've done, I used to wash them off the tiles and then paint them again. So I'll show, I could actually show you some of those. So uh, after I get up, we have to show, oh, first I'll show you this. So there we are. This is how it looks now. And uh, uh, probably here and there as time goes by, I'll show you what I've accomplished. And <laughs> the house is looking really hard, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it because it's funny, you know? I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a um, some artists like to paint a picture how it is in a photo. Oh, Maggie. Some artists like to pick a, paint a picture how it is in a photo. Come here, you little rascal. And, uh, and uh, me, this is how I feel. I feel, so don't be scared. I feel that if you um, paint it, once you've got it looking like a house, the mind fills in a lot of stuff when you look at a picture. And so, because it's not perfect, your mind will make it perfect. Unless maybe it's really horrible, then you wash it off and <laughs> you do it again. So here's another one. This is a, a picture I, I scan, and I thought of doing this one, because it has the trees, which would be in front, and the waterfall. And I thought of doing this one, but I did settle on the other one. I like that I have a color picture to follow. I can use some of the same colors. She wants to crawl up around my neck where it's nice and warm. It isn't happening. Now I'm going to put her in her, in her bed. And um, I'm going to show you the project, Jack. Just he, one day I said, I used to have this little black plastic wheelbarrow and uh, I it fell it, I bought it at a garage sale and it was all cracked and broken and I used that hot glue gun and I patched it and patched it for years and then one day it just finally gave out and I missed it and I says to Jack I says I think I would like another small wheelbarrow that I can just uh, you know wheelbarrows the the, the regular normal wheelbarrow kind of falls over easily and uh, and is awkward so <laughs> he 
surprised me. He made me one just out of garbage he found. He had some old gas tanks that he didn't use it for, oh, they weren't gas tanks. They were, um, I think Canadian Tire sells these things for washing tools or something. And they're metal and they're little tubs, the size of a sink probably. Anyway, he, he had picked up two broken ones of those and joined them together to make the bucket. And you're going to see, he made me the neatest one and then I can haul my plants to the front yard without um, having to carry them all down. It, it's made to be, get in awful spots and it's high enough. I don't have to bend over so far. So I'm going to show you that. I'll show you also um, some, of the, some of the paintings I've done on tiles. So I'll finish off with that and we'll probably pass by the orchids and see what has happened with them since I repotted the last two. So Okay, here we go. We'll start with the, I'm gonna start here. Now, I do have to improve my, so here is what Jack made me. Now that's two tanks welded together that were for washing parts. Uh, the front wheels were something he picked up at the thrift store that used to be wall mounts for holding a TV and he picks up the wheels. This is all made from scrap and believe me it is strong. There's a little place for my tools. It's strong. I can make it down that narrow pathway where you know there's slight stairs to the front of the house. So yes he did. I'll have and it's John Deere Green. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that song? I do. Anyway, here, let's go this way. And um, all the spikes are growing nicely. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. But uh, two flowers dropped off of this one in there. I think there's another one ready to go. But all the buds has opened. I've never lost any buds. Now, I'll see if I can turn this around crowded here but I wanted to get it in I'll just go around I haven't the buds have all been opening so we've done good that way so um, all the spikes are coming up nicely and oh yeah and the dark one that mom picked out just a minute we have to go around it never lost any more buds seems to be doing fine and I think they are going to open. I think they're going to open. It's so dark, isn't it? Some of the other ones are opening. So, um, okay. Now, as far as tile paintings, up here, I'll do a close-up. These are two pictures I painted on some time ago on porcelain tile. So when you paint on porcelain tire, tile, there's something called GAC 100 you put on the tile. It helps the painting stick. And uh, see this you could even do. You could even do on glass and make it 3D with the water in the back. No, I'm not doing very good at this, am I? Okay. And I also did this kind of strange one here. Uh, that was a kind of a Susan sit on. Uh, she's an artist that does a lot of Western art. Now, i got to back off. For, I'm not very good at doing that. But anyway, in the hallway, I don't know if I have to make you close your eyes. Because <laughs> we're going to go down there and I am going to show you these paintings. So, Okay, I know it's dark out here. Okay. I know, I know, in the hallway. I don't think I have to make you close your eyes. Okay, I'm going to show you two, some tile paintings I've done here. Okay, there's one here. And there is one here. There's a sad story to this one. And of course, down here, this is the, the dirty pour. Um, the fish, that was dirty pour, and the fish, 
oh, thank you. And he said there should be light, and there was light. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm not an expert, and I don't have anything for sale. I'm not trying to. It's just a fun hobby for me. So, um, that will be it for today. And I hope you're running out to buy your glass, and don't be scared to try it. And the spikes are also coming really good here. Yeah, community's good, and we are still waiting on this. So that's it for today. Bye now.